how to put together a tree watering kit from Highland Hill Farm. This is how the hose adapter, and this is a hose adapter, a regular garden hose will feed into this line here, is attached to our blue stripe pipe. This is a push on fitting right here, and then after it's pushed on, it's screwed in and it screws tight. Now you have a very tight fitting there, and the in water goes in here through a garden hose into our water system. You control the amount of water that's fed into the blue stripe pipe by the valve on your garden hose. This is a nipple, a spaghetti line, and an emitter. And now we have to connect this emitter into that pipe. So we have to make a hole. We're going to use this part here to punch a hole into the pipe. Now you can hear it went in. That was a nice, nice clean hook right now. This nipple now has to be pushed into that hole. Okay, now this is in there. Now this pulls off, and it's hard to see, but this has a slight crease in it. And that's where the water from here, from inside this tube, comes in through here, around through here, up into here. Now it's going to come out. This is the off position, and this is the on position. Now when water comes through here, through the tube, it'll come out this tube here, follow around, come through here, and be emitted right through there. Now when the garden hose is feeding through the pipe, through here, we need to be able to close it off. And we do that with this figure eight. And now we're going to show you how to close off this end of the line. But we put the figure eight on here, bend the tube over, and bend it back into itself like that. Now that actually closes the water off and no water can go past this point. So now the only way the water can get out is it goes in here and comes out the spaghetti line to your tree. And you can probably have over a hundred lines off this main hose when you're feeding trees at one time. So you can do a lot of trees with one garden hose. Our blue stripe pipe comes in 100, 500, and 1,000 foot lengths. Okay, sometimes your hose gets a hole in it, so you want to know that the hose cuts easily with a, with a snipper. See, it can cut very well, cuts easily. And what you're going to want to do sometimes is connect a hose to itself. And this is how the hose connects to itself. And you push this on real hard. Now sometimes, and it can unpull off as well. Now sometimes you'll want a T. And in that case, you're going to put three of these together. And that's a T. And there's also a Y. So if you want to just put in a Y, you can do that. So it's a very adaptable for different applications and to take water to different areas of your landscape. To winterize your system, just disconnect your garden hose from the blue stripe pipe and also open up the figure eight to relieve water out of the back end of the hose and you'll be set for winter. The spaghetti tubing that goes from the blue stripe pipe to the plant we supply it in many different sizes. We have them 18 inch, 24 inches in length, 3 foot, 4 foot, 5 foot, 6 foot, and we have many different applications for it. Some are large trees, small trees, some trees will be further away or some trees will be closer to the blue stripe pipe. So when you order your kit or you need drip lines, Tell us how many and how long they have to be. And if we have to make them custom, we can make them custom for you. You can just give us a call at 215-651-8329. We can sell you the parts. We have bags of emitters 
and bags of nipples and lots and lots of spaghetti tubing and we do ship them out UPS and on our trucks when we make deliveries. Again, call us at 215-651-8329 for your drip irrigation parts at Highland Hill Farm.